Truth, Money, and Freedom podcast. Welcome to Truth, Money, and Freedom. Today is Sunday, the 16th of May, 2021. Hey gang, I have an announcement for you guys. Um, uh, this morning I caught a new comment here from M. Gabriel, who I owe a tip of the hat to. M. Gabriel said, on Monday, May 17th, Senator Burleson, along with other lawmakers who champion SEPA, will hold a press conference at the Sounds, that's right here, the Sounds of Freedom, USA in Ozark, Missouri, at 12 p.m. The public is invited. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, I actually texted both Jared and Eric, and they both confirmed that is true. I don't know where that information came from, but I am ever so grateful to M. Gabriel for making me aware of it. Otherwise, I, I may not have known. So, at any rate, gang, I'd like to invite you all tomorrow to the Sound of Freedom USA. That's Monday, tomorrow, the 17th of May, at noon, high noon, gang. It's a gun range in Ozark, Missouri. So, please come. Uh, this is a time for us to support the men that fought for us in the Missouri legislature. And they fought like lions. And by the way, you saw them fight on camera. I've seen them fight off camera. Um, these guys worked really hard for the bill. And so I'm going there because it's a press thing, and I'm going to bring my camcorder here, and I'll record. And if there's an opportunity for I'll ask a question or two. But... I, I just got to be honest with you, gang. I've seen KY3, that's a local news affiliate, NBC in Springfield, Missouri. I've seen their coverage of SEPA, and it was all negative. And, of course, they covered uh, Sheriff Arnott, who was negative, didn't want the bill. They covered Sheriff Cole in Christian County, negative, didn't want the bill. Um, you know, always negativity, um, not, hey, we can make the bill better, or, hey, I've got constructive criticism. Hey, there's something they've forgotten. Um, no, it wasn't that at all. So we can't have this bill. We just can't have this bill. Got to keep the feds in here. Well, okay, that may be their opinion. But once again, I'm looking forward to some positive press coverage on this. But once again, it's the mainstream media. We get what we get. But I wanted to let you guys know about the event so you can be there tomorrow if you have time. So those of you who are local to the area, see if you could take your lunch break during that time. But uh, I'll definitely be there. It sounds like Jimmy D is going to be there. Um, I haven't had confirmation of that yet. Um, but of course, uh, Eric and Jared will be there. And, uh, so I'm looking forward to shaking both of their hands after the fact. And although I saw them, uh, this past Tuesday up in Jefferson city, um, I'm, I'm very, very grateful for another opportunity to shake their hands and say, thank you very much for looking out for my second amendment rights. How often do you have a lawmaker that's actually looking out for your second amendment rights gang? So come one come all i look forward to meeting any of you and it's, it's really close to lambert's so you know maybe we get a meet and greet going you know for uh truth money and freedom folks in lambert's uh and also that you folks on facebook i put these videos on facebook as well um but yeah let's let's get a contingent out there let's uh thank these two men for fighting so hard for what we know is right our liberties that too many politicians forget about all the time so I did see this, and I'll have this link down below from EIN Presswire. Um, it's not exactly positive about SEPA, but um, what it, it, it's not negative about SEPA either. So sometimes you have to give credit where credit is due. But when I found this, I saw this right here. Um, and But I wouldn't have gone looking for it if it weren't for M. Gabriel. And it's talking about the press conference at the Sound of Freedom in Ozark tomorrow at noon. So... At any rate, um, please be there. Um, I wanted to uh, make a small mention here that the Missouri Sheriff's Association was very quick to go up to the dog water bowl and lap up some praise for the passage of SEPA. So did Senator Senators Rowden right over here on the on the left, and then Senator Schatz. So they wanted uh, they wanted their due for getting the bill passed, um, and we'll talk about that another time because I have a lot of things to say about that. So, at any rate, that's what I had to say. I don't want to make it a long video. It's uh, Sunday. I didn't anticipate making a video today. But thank you to M. Gabriel. Thank you for making me aware of this. Um, and also, I'm really hoping to meet some of you guys there tomorrow, if you can make it. Um, some of you are local. Some of you are in Springfield that are on Truth, Money, and Freedom podcast. Some of you come from really far away, but... It is an event tomorrow. If you can make it, that would be great. So 
please do consider. I look forward to meeting anyone who comes out there. And uh, we'll have some fun afterwards. Maybe we'll do some shooting or go out to eat or something. You guys, uh, once again, thank you for watching Truth, Money, and Freedom. Thank you for being a part of this. Thank you for supporting this movement. You guys are awesome, and I love all of you. And thank you all for helping out with this and uh, standing up for liberty and freedom. Um, even if we can only do it on the state level, we can't seem to get that done on the federal level. All right, gang, I look forward to tomorrow, and I will record. So I will uh, make a video out of what happens tomorrow, and I'll put it up on the Truth, Money, and Freedom podcast. So until then, you guys all take care. May God bless you, and I'll catch you soon.